So today we're putting a twist on a traditional Bahamian favorite, fish and grits. And if you know anything about Alexandra from events by Alexandra, then you know that her meals aren't only tasty, but they're always so unique. Today we're making a spicy baked grits with seared fresh fish. And we're accompanying that with what I think is the best drink in town, the Rum Bahamas Dirty Mule. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. I'm your host, Ayanthea Smith. Can you guys believe it? We're finally into season two, and I promise some absolutely amazing and delicious meals throughout this season. I'm now in the kitchen. My stove is already burning up, and I have with me, guys, who I think is quietly one of the best chefs in the Bahamas, Chef Alexandra. Thank from you. From Events by Alexandra. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And welcome to I'm season two. I'm excited to be cooking with you. Yay. We always eat together. I know, we never right? Cook. <laughs> That's so true. We yes. always eat together. I've had our food a million times, and I can tell you that Alexandra knows how to put it down. As I said in the intro, her dishes are always so unique. And so we're doing today a spicy baked grits. Yes. That is different. How did you come up with that concept? Well, um, we love Bahamian food. I love okay. Bahamian mm -hmm. food and I love cooking Bahamian food, but I get tired of it. I <laughs> yeah, of it. I, I, I get know. tired of the same thing over and over again. And you know, we were playing around in the kitchen one day, um, me and some of my team members, especially Mikey, and you'll meet him later on for the Rum Bahamas Dirty <laughs> nice. Mule. And one of the things we were saying is that there's got to be something that you do better with grits than mm -hmm. we do. I mean, it's the same old boiled grits. And um, one of the challenges that the Ministry of um, Tourism had given me was to feed my husband at one of my one of their challenges. I had to feed a man and make him happy. Okay. For, and and <laughs> it was a, a way of like trying to explore a dish that was um, unique, mm -hmm. but at the same time that a Bahamian man, because we know how difficult y'all could be, with food. And what is this, <laughs> and I don't know what that is, and I can't taste this, you have to feed a Bahamian man and make him happy and satisfied with taste and enough what flavor. What a challenge. Yes. <laughs> and at the same time, you know, it not be so different that he doesn't know what he's, okay. he's eating. Okay? okay. So that was that was where that dish came from. We had a very difficult client who also, you know, was bored with food and he kept saying that and he wanted to try something unique and this was the, this was, this kind of married into wow. this dish. All right. So let's so. get started. Let's see how we make this spicy. Okay. Okay. Baked grits? Well, basically, you start with a with a making a smother. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you start with we do we do use butter. We don't <laughs> use margarine, I'm afraid. And can you put some thyme in there first? I like sure. to fry up my thyme. So you throw the whole thing in. I, uh, some yeah, people you I can know put they... it in. I like a lot of thyme. Okay, so go ahead. Just put that in there and let that smell. Awesome. That yep. smells good now, already. Honestly, I cook by by smell even more than really. Sight. Yes. You want more thyme? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. S smell is very important to me and while that is frying like that and mm -hmm. you can smell that we'll go ahead and add some chopped onions right. we are making smother basically smother is everything we make mm -hmm. in terms of um, what, what we do steam chicken with peas yeah. and rice base, a good base for whatever it I mean is. it's it's I am almost the 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 most important thing to Bahamian food is to make sure that this sauce is right awesome. and then a lot of things come from it Go ahead and add some sweet pepper that we chopped up. All right. Because that's very important as well. And so, Alexandra, you said yes, that you know you've been. You want all of this in there? I do. Woo! A lot of ingredients. I do. I like love it. A lot of ingredients. So you've been cooking now for 25 20, years. Uh, 27. Now. 27 yeah, years. No, years. How did you get in this the kitchen? This is celery. So we, every every Bahamian woman some knows celery, that yeah. those are the three most important. <laughs> yeah, onions, um, yes, your onions, sweet your, pepper. That's right. Celery, celery, some butter, and, and the, some thyme. Right, and thyme being. The, the herb that goes with that, but the others are vegetables. Sometimes we call them all herbs. Or, yeah. <laughs> but that is not quite true. Well, that's true. That's right. So 27 years in the kitchen. 27 years in the kitchen. What has kept you behind the stove so long? I just love it too much. Yeah? Yes, and every time I go to retire and leave, everyone says no, and I'm, you know, food is, Food is, is really important to hospitality and to happiness as far yeah. as I'm, I'm, not in a silly way, you know, I, I know we're not supposed to worry about what we eat, but when you eat well, in terms of good tasting food, mm -hmm. you feel better. That's true. It That's lifts depression, true. it 
It it makes you, you know, it builds bonds with people. It 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 mends arguments. I mean, Very nothing true. like you know, feed your man <laughs> and you might keep him happy. Um, so is this dish that we're making here today? Is this like a good? Olives brunch, I'd say, like a, some, a good comfort food that Absolutely. you can make for anybody on yes. any day. And this isn't any harder than you making peas and rice. Ah, interesting. Okay, so th it's not like this is brain surgery as far mm -hmm. as, you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, a, such a specialized and, and difficult dish. I, I don't like to cook like that because I think food has to be available to everybody, yeah. not just, you know, yeah. some unique secret. But we do have our secrets. I, I was just going to say, <laughs> yes. some of your dishes are absolutely unique. So what goes oh. into the thinking behind putting, well, I had um, an event with Alexandra before. She did, she tongue 10 different ways, you guys. How does that thinking even, like, how do you even get thinking on that wavelength? <laughs> you want me to tell you that in this episode? Because that's no, the next episode. I don't episode. want you to tell, you, tell me the <laughs> secret, but just the thinking of making your dishes so unique. Like, what, what do you think about when you say, you know what, let's just bake our grits today. Right. <laughs> well, what it is is that, that food is still supposed to remain exciting. Mm -hmm. it, it, otherwise, it does become as boring as eating fast yeah. food. And you can get to the point where you eat without thinking. Mm -hmm. And that is, you know, that's not ever a good thing. You're supposed to taste what you eat and enjoy it. And the, the, that mental pleasure that you get from something that just tastes good. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's, it's always been a challenge that I, I like to change up because okay. I never want someone to say, oh, there we go again with, same with that thing, same yeah. thing, that's right. Awesome, all right, so, so we are getting our smother right. going. Okay. And in this pot, as you saw, we put some butter, some chopped onion, some chopped go sweet pepper, your celery. Go ahead and your goat pepper. And now I like some, goat pepper. oh, I love pepper. I live with goat I pepper. I love pepper. Right. So good, some goat pepper we yes. just added to the pot. Now, the reason that I'm not telling you quantities is because it doesn't matter. Really, okay? well, that's, that's it, good. All right. What it is, is it's your version of what mm. you you want to do. Some people don't like how much spice I use and you know I do. I like it very spicy know, so I would them. put two go peppers in that at okay. least. Not just one. Some people just want a little you know trace of it. I think that's important to note too because a lot of people want to know how much of this to put and how much of that to put but with this dish quantities don't really matter. They don't really matter. Awesome. It really is your flavor base totally. You that know? makes it ten okay, times easier. Okay so Ariantha, let's add a little bit of fresh tomato to that. All right. Fresh not the can. Yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna Tomatoes? Fresh tomatoes. Yeah, fresh tomatoes, yes. Do you like want to three chop different them up? types of tomato yes, on three here? Good. That's right. All right, so yes, we're going to chop these up. And why are we using three different types of tomatoes? Uh, just for, for how it feels in your mouth. Do you want these chunky? Yes, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the fresh, and then you, you always have to eat, bearing in mind that food is meant to, to do your body good. Mm. Okay, so as much as we can get that is healthy and unprocessed, because no matter what, those two are processed, the, the tomato yeah, paste and the, so. and the cans. I do them, I add them for ease, and tomato paste does give it that nice, mm -hmm. rich flavor, intense flavor. That's good enough. I think right. that's fine to, to put them in there now. And let that all just cook up until the onion goes perfectly clear and then it starts to but you can smell it yes this smells so good in here that's high mixed with that yes. onion absolutely okay it smells really good it's beautiful as well that's right so while we're, this is cooking we're going to go ahead and prepare our fresh fish all right so this fish was caught yesterday it's hog fish wow and we're going to marinate this mm -hmm. so that it now i usually marinate overnight at least mm -hmm. a, a minimum of and we've made a seasoning base already so that you can Start marinate here. the fish in it. Mm -hmm. With That has um, oh, lime good. juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and a little bit of seasoning salt. So go ahead and you know get your fish going so that right. it can be ready when you're ready. Now, if you're Perfect. a housewife and, oh, I hate that word, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a, a wife cooking or So we just pour cooking, this on here? Yes, just pour it on there. Awesome. Um, you're gonna want to, be able to, you can do this dish in advance before you go to work or whatever, and then when you come home, just cook the final stage, okay? That's right. why we've done it like this. Perfect, all right, you guys. So our smother is going for our spicy baked grits. I'm over here and I'm about to marinate our fresh fish. We'll be right back. This is Chef It Up with Chef Alexandra. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. This kitchen smells absolutely amazing. Chef Alexandra, we are whipping up spicy baked grits with seared fresh fish. And you know, before we went to break, we smothered down our 
onions, onions, sweet celery, pepper. sweet yeah. pepper, thyme, and some butter in there. Yes. And I'm just chopping up some garlic. Can you hand me the um, tomato paste? Let's fry that up now. Now we use the paste. <laughs> now you use the paste. That's right. Now we add our paste into the pot, and I'm and just chopping up. You fry that really well because you want to get rid of that tinny taste. Okay. For sure. Perfect. And I see that we're using, as you see, see earlier, we're using three different types of. And I always add a touch of sugar. Three what different I, types of. Uh, oh, sugar add makes everything a little better. Yes, I know. Okay, and so now we're gonna we're gonna season this before we add our broth. And what we've been doing is heating some broth. Now, if you don't, if you want to cut down on on your calories or your sodium intake, you don't need broth. You don't okay. need stock. Okay. Okay. I know we like uh, Maggie, but you don't necessarily need to have it. So if you wouldn't mind passing me all the seasonings. We have seasoning salt. Oh, this smells so heavy. good. Black I might pepper. <laughs> Can I have some salt right there? Some salt, yes. perfect. A little bit of browning. All right. I'll move these over here. Do you want me to pour it in for you? Just a little bit, just please. A tad. Yes, just a tad. Is that good or more? Yes, that's good. That's fine? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. A tad of Worcester sauce. Okay. Okay. Now this is and some a awesome tad grits. of lime juice. Really, I lime like juice and I don't, grits. I don't go tad. I, just, I like a lot. Okay. So who would you? So can you smell? You can smell it. That's that's the I important thing. I definitely can. I definitely this has can. to smell good and taste good at this point. I see why you say you cook based on smell. Smell. That's right. I I, I, I get your point now. So okay. who would and you? Who would you? Can kind you of add some garlic? Sure. I am still, you know, <laughs> uh, the garlic queen. I like garlic. More? No matter what. No, that's good. Okay. And let's perfect. fry that up for a little bit. And then we'll add the grit, the, um, the the stock. A little bit of stock. That's right. All right, awesome. And so when that's really nice and bubbling, and you've tasted it and you approve that it has enough salt, it does have to be very strongly tasting at this point. Okay. Seasoned, okay? Don't okay. look at it and say, oh no, because grits are pretty bland. Yeah. So if you add them to an already bland base, they're going to be bland mm -hmm. all the way through. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard to fix at that point. Ah. Okay, so when you're ready, can you taste that? So it has to be really seasoned. It has to be really seasoned, heavily seasoned at this point. Okay. Uh, I love tasting. <laughs> So it's good. I, I like good. it. That goat pepper, oh, that just mm -hmm. kicks. I love that. So once this, once this really bubbles mm -hmm. up, we'll add our, our grits to All it. All right, perfect. So what do we do in the meantime? Now we're gonna cook our fish. Ah, the fish, you guys. Okay, and remember yes. before we went to break, we just marinated that in our special sauce. Do you yes. want to tell us what's in that sauce? <laughs> or is that a secret? Some of them are. Some of them are secret <laughs> ingredients. It's actually um, Mikey's secret recipe, so I, I wouldn't reveal it all. But it's basically lime juice, mm -hmm. salt, pepper, olive oil, and seasoning salt. Okay. With a few twists. All right. So, uh -huh. so what we've done is we've added a little bit of cream to this, mm -hmm. just a, a carnation evaporated milk, good old Bahamian cream. What does the cream do? Uh, it just gives it a little bit more flavor All and a right. little bit uh, the texture makes mm -hmm. it a little bit smoother in the texture. Okay. Perfect. Now at this point, we're mm -hmm. just going to put in a bit of grits. I mean, I'm sorry, a bit the of cheese, um, cheese in the grits <laughs> if you want. If you want. And you can put some carrots. Really? Or any vegetables that you want, really. Uh, you know, we were talking about making sure that, and I love green onions, mm. eh? Green this onions is a, real hearty is a staple pot. of the rest of the Caribbean. It's just something we don't use here, but I still love it. Mm -hmm. And I love how it, um, it adds a, a real flavor. So as we are searing our fish, we'll put this in to bake. Okay. So. If you are a, a busy woman cooking for your man before you go to work, I keep saying that I know I, uh, yeah. I cooked for a husband for many years before he, yes. And put that in the oven. All right. But if you were cooking, you could do this step, you could do all of this work, or, or before you go to church. Was it, this was the last okay, one. Okay, let's finish this up. Clean right. this up. Perfect, so we're making now Chef Alexandra's spicy baked grits. And as you can see, she just put in these little cute little uh, oven pans. Yes. So you gotta have a cast personalized iron pans. cast iron pans, our little personalized yes. our dish. So right. inside this pot with the grits, you know you guys, we brought our mm -hmm. smother together with the onions and the uh, celery we put, right? right? We had some thyme in there, some butter. Uh, what else did we put inside this pot? Fresh oh, tomatoes. Of fresh tomatoes. The three types of tomato. Fresh tomatoes, tomato paste, and a little bit else? of canned tomatoes. Uh, a little bit of canned tomatoes. We a just bit made of garlic. A little bit of garlic. Right. The, and 
for me, some the sugar. most. That's right, some <laughs> sugar, 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 and lime juice. And some lime juice. Yes. We made our grits, you guys, and as you can see, we just tossed in there some cheese, some green onions, some carrots. And we're just gonna now let our right. grits bake. I've never seen baked grits before. Right. And now we're going to just sear our fish yes. so that they come out at the same time. Perfect, all right. Mm -hmm. Now, and we were saying the difference between searing fish and frying fish. This one is the healthier yes. version. This is the healthier version. This is basically an alternative to frying. I still prefer fried fish on top of grits. I love a good crunch. But <laughs> I love the crunch as well. And searing is supposed to give you a crunch. It's not overcooked. You, you want that crust and then the still juicy inside, okay? okay? Got it. It, it's right. not wrong when you see that nice dark crust on that. All right, so our hogfish is going, you guys, stirring this down in the pan. Our spicy baked grits is baking, you guys. This is Chef It Up. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. Our dish is finally done. The spicy baked grits with the seared fresh fish. I got it right. It's a little you tongue twister. Right. But it's time now to eat, guys. Yes, and All we're right. going to plate it on top of our Bahamian dill. Oh. Dill wheat, which grows wild in the Bahamas. And nice. you'll see it in this form over here the, with the fronds. Um, but this is everywhere. And it goes very well with fish in most cultures, but we don't we don't do that at all Yeah, here. this is the first time but I've seen. But it's a pity because it is that locally uh -huh. grown wild dill. Nice. All right, so we are now bringing out our... Yes, our baked grits. Wow. This is yes. the first time I'm seeing baked grits. This is absolutely beautiful, you guys. You can see how those green onions and a little bit of that carrot just peek out of there. Yeah. This looks really good and it smells even better. I'm ready to dig in. <laughs> Give me one second then. So, you, so is this like one of your favorite dishes to make? Oh, I, I, I don't I don't go there. I am. But no. <laughs> I, lo I love all kinds of food. So, so you have a few me, favorites. I have then. a few favorites. All right. That's right. Well, I think if I'm going to try this, this is going to be like one of my favorite because I just love the whole combination of the fish and the grits. Like I said, a spin on a traditional Bahamian favorite, but it kind of gives you it's a little sexier. I like to say. I have to say. I, I love it. I love it. And that's a little bit more lime juice. Just, just a tiny just little a drizzle. Just All right. a little drizzle, because you know I like it anyway. Look at this dish. This is that's so right. beautiful. And I think that's as simple as it needs to be. No, Nobody rushing after yeah. work is going to do any more than that. It's not fussy at so, all. Not fussy at all. So our dishes are plated, right? We're ready to go almost, but like I promised you guys, we're gonna wash this down with what I think is one of the best Bahamian drinks around, the Dirty Mule. So I'm gonna invite Mikey to the set now, who's going to show me how to make this very pepper, but still very sweet drink. Welcome to Chef It Up, Mikey. Thank you, thank you for having me on Chef It Up. All right, so how do we get the Dirty Mule going? Well, the Dirty Mule is a very signature drink of Rum Bahamas. It's very gingery, Yes. sweet, don't forget the goat pepper. Yes, that kick. The lime juice. I mean, this is a nice drink if you just want to just have a nice time, mm -hmm. just spend a nice summer evening walking along. <laughs> Enjoy it. Mikey's Enjoying right. the breeze. And you're right, because the drink is very refreshing, I like to say. It's very refreshing. Like I say, the mixture with the brown sugar and the goat pepper, the ginger, all comes together real nicely. So let's 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 get going. I want to make a cup. <laughs> all right, so what all do right. we do? This right here is the dirty meal itself. Okay. That we bottled up. Now is that a secret in, is that it a is secret a secret recipe? ingredient. Mm. It has seven different alcohols. Wow. A lot of love and a lot of kick behind from the mule. Okay, uh, so you ready to get this going? Right. So this is what I do here? Right. So we're going to so pour, pour some of this. So you're gonna pour the mule in. Uh-huh. So that not itself that is the mule, not yes. the whole drink. Interesting. No, it's not the whole drink. Okay, so then, a little bit of the mule, right. uh-huh. And on top you'll see the ginger from out of the ball that yeah. you just, you don't wanna Strained keep it in it there off. because when you're drinking it, It'll have a little harsh, yeah. gingery feeling. Okay, so that. we pour that in to strain off right. the ginger and a little bit of the pepper. Uh -huh. And then right on top, you're going to put a splash of ginger there. Okay. All right. Then you're going to add a little brown sugar. What does the brown sugar do? Give us a little sweetness? Yeah, a little sweetness, whereas the pepper won't. Hit you as strong. <laughs> we know Alexandra says so she likes gold right. pepper. <laughs> right. All right. You're gonna add your pepper. All right. Now remember, the ginger is already in it, so you don't have to add ginger okay. unless you want that 
real extra ginger flavor to it. Okay. And if you want, you can put a little cambole on top. Aww. A little star fruit. Right. And there you go. You have yourself a dirty mule. All right. So while Mikey whips up some more dirty mule for us, we're going to toss it to a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. I have in front of me my spicy baked grits with my seared fresh fish, made of course by Chef Alexandra. And over here we have our Festival Rum Bahamas Dirty Mule that Mikey mixed up for us. I'm gonna pass this over to you. Thank you. Let's take a little sip before we dig into the food. This, guys, Cheers. is one of my favorite drinks. Cheers. Perfect. This is Perfectly always made. so good, always so refreshing. That ginger bear just does wonders for that drink. Now let's get to the food, wow, you guys. To, <laughs> That's really good. I had to stay focused. That was today. much needed just now, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's grab our forks and dig in. Yeah. All right, so gonna dig in now to our baked, grits. our spicy baked grits. Right. What a dish, though. I've never had baked grits before. All right. Now, I do leave the thyme in there because I like to, but not everyone likes that. So that you is can so always good. take it out. That hint of lime, that lime at the end, and then you have that little goat pepper right at the end. Yes. Amazing. This is really good. This is like real comfort food. Absolutely. Like I could eat this on a Sunday, eat this on a Monday. <laughs> Let's go for that Sarah fish And I fish told now. you this fish was just caught yesterday, never frozen. Wow. So that means this must be really good then. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I've never had hogfish before. Really? Really. Oh, come on. I've That's been missing not, out, clearly. You have been missing I've been out. missing out, but this is absolutely good. The combination of the fish with the grits, of course, a right. spin on a Bahamian favorite, and then but. You can add whatever else you want to this meal for your Sunday lunch or whatever you mm -hmm. do. You know, whatever. This is pretty good. So, Chef Alexandra, where can we find you? Where can we find this dish again? Tell everybody where can they find you? Where can they find me? I'm everywhere. <laughs> Um, we have a website, we have Facebook, I have a phone number everywhere on this island. Mm -hmm. um, we are a catering company, we're not a restaurant ever again. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're available for catering mm -hmm. anytime. You know, we do, we do Festival Rum Bahamas and that's our next big event. And it is our signature event. Um, but oh, we're I'm going to be there. Right? I'm going to be there. Chef Alexander's going to be there. The dirty meals are going to be there, you guys. I'm going to finish digging into my spicy baked grits and <laughs> seared fresh meal. fish. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chef It Up. It's been fun, Ayanta. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks for coming by. Yes. <laughs>